what is up everyone it's GTA King here back with another video go ahead and smash that like button subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications and I know it's been a minute since I did post the video but this is the new car the service car and car to car merge now I will tell you each of the steps along the way you will need an auto shop and you will need a service car inside of your auto shop and you will need a bunker and the car you want to pull the mods from now if you want to be able to mod any car in the game you will need two consoles and net cut I will explain all that in this video and I will explain where you start your net cut and what you do from there there but first what you want to do is make your way to your bunker using your mark 2 now there is another merge out which is more complicated and more hard to do but you can only mod motorcycles and that is through the LS car meet if y'all want me to film a video on that please let me know in the comments below and I will let y'all know when I can get that done for y'all and I can get that uploaded to my channel as well But this is going to be the easiest method right now, y'all. And this is where you can definitely mod a car. So basically you want to get on a flying vehicle. Either a buzzard from your CEO. Or you can get a Mark II or a Mark I. Or you can get a plane out and make your way to your, to your bunker and all you want to do is walk in and walk out once you do so you want to make your way back to your auto shop uh, now you will need a second person for this glitch bitch it works best if they're in the same target mode as you and it works even better if they are in the same session but they don't have to be in the same session as you as long as they are in the same targeting mode as you so if you're assisting aim you want the person helping you and assist the aim as well if you're in free aim you want them in free aim as well and don't forget guys you can join my discord server if you need help with this and also the same two car to car give car to friend glitches still work Arc through the facility and also through the MOC at the casino with the bookmark job I will be filming a video on that probably tomorrow or so but I want to get a video out on this I know everyone is frustrated with the car to motorcycle merge that people keep posting So this part of the video guys, if you just want to speed it up, up and skip this part of me going to my bunker, or you can skip that part, but all you're going to see when I get in my bunker, I'm going to walk in, and I'm going to walk out on foot, and then I'm going to get back on my Mark II and make my way back to my auto shop. So if y'all want to fast forward the video to where I'm back at my auto shop, y'all can. It will not hurt my feelings whatsoever. So all I'm going to do is just lower down to the ground, get off my Mark II, and I'm going to walk inside my bunker, and then I'm going to walk out and make my way back to my auto shop. Keep in mind the car that you are pulling the mods from, you want it inside of your auto shop before doing this. Now, you, you only have to go to your bunker and then walk out of it one time you can 
you can pick up from being at your auto shop if you want to keep modding more than one car unless you can switch sessions so all you want to do is get back on your flying vehicle or in your flying vehicle or in a car and head back to your auto shop so like I said you only have to go to your bunker one time as long as you're staying inside the same set inside the same session so the part that I'm about to show you at the auto shop guys as once you mod one car just repeat this part when I return back to the auto shop again to mod the second one and I will explain also where you will start up your net cut and all so if you want to do any car in the game there's a couple of steps you have to do before you can mod the service car and I'll point that out here here So you just want to make your way back to your auto shop and then once you inside your auto shop you will be ready to go. So once I'm here at my auto shop, I'm just going to get off my Mark II and I'm going to make my way inside. Now if I want to mod any car in the game before we get to any of the steps in here, what you want to do once you get inside is buy a copy of the stock version of your service car. But I recommend buying the cheapest one. And the reason why is so you're not really using much of your money. So if you want to mod any car in the game, just buy a copy of the stock version that's here in your auto shop. And remember what slot you put it in. Because once you do this part here, it's going to be very important that you remember what slot that car is in. So now you just want to get in the car that you want to pull the mods from. And you want to press right on D-pad like you want to modify the car. Now once you get in here to modify the car, you just want to press B to return the car back in. You don't have to change a single thing on it. Then you want to make your way out of the car and make your way over to the snack table and pull up your snack menu. Once you pull up your snack menu, you want a friend to start up a job. Um and he wants to invite you to that job so I'm going to join the job invite and once I'm on the first alert he can go ahead and he can back out of the job so now I just need to wait for him to let me know he has backed out so now I just want to accept the first alert and I want to wait on the second alert about three seconds or so and then once I wait about three seconds or so oh. I want to go accept that second alert and it will put me back in my auto shop and my snack menu will be open and I will be able to move and all I want to do is walk up to one of my service cars now I recommend doing the one that is the cheapest if you want to mod any car in the game so remember that slot that you put that stock version of the service car on before doing this so now you want to press run on d-pad in front of that service car and your snack menu should be spazzing out like a heart attack and your character should be frozen where he cannot move so now you want your friend to start another job and you want him to invite you when he invites you you want to accept that invite and get on the alert once you on the alert you, you can back out 
Now once he backs out, out you're just going to press A on the first one and you're going to wait three seconds or so and then you're going to accept on the second one and you're going to spawn in. Now once you get the service car modded at this time you are going to want to start up your net cut and then from there you want to load on the console number two by the version of the car that you want to pull they want to actually mod and put the mods onto stocked put it in that slot where you put the regular version of the service car at then you're going to turn off console number two go back to console one and you're just going to buy a copy of the modded service car and put it in that same slot turn off your net cut change your character's outfit quit GTA and then you're going to load back in now if you just want to leave it at this step of modding the service car all you want to do is just purchase the service car and put it in one of your garages and I will show you that I own it mod it so I just bought it so now I'm going to wait until it gets delivered and then I'm going to walk outside and I can call it in and it will show you that it is modded now if you want to repeat the step if you want to mod another service car all you have to do is just walk outside of your auto shop walk back in and repeat those steps again of having of getting to the car you want to pull the mods from and then have your friends start up the job again so I'm just waiting for that to get delivered my vehicle will be delivered to your garage shortly so once we get notified I will walk outside and call it in and show you that I do own this vehicle modded and this vehicle did has have a modded interior so I'm just going to call it in once we're out here and that is very easy and it is easier than the car to motorcycle merge through the LS car meet if you do ask me myself but if y'all do want me to make a video on that one I can but I will tell you this here it's not easy and it will make you want to rip your hair out because you have to be fast with the timing of the glitch so I'm just waiting till it gets confirmed as delivered and then I'll be able to call it out alright so it's in my thing now so now I just want to call it out and you'll see that I own it mod it so once I call this out you'll see that I own it mod it so I just called it out now I'm just going to wait for it to spawn in and we're going to go to the car and you'll see that it's the same car we just purchased now because we walked out of my auto shop we walk back in that service car does return to stock and I do not have to go to my bunker to mod another service car I can just keep modding them the way we've been without leaving the session now if I leave the session I will have to go back to my bunker again and walk out and as you see there is the service car and it is modded so if y'all enjoyed this video go ahead smash the like button subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications and please join my discord server if you need help with this and join this before this does get patched because I'm pretty sure Rockstar will patch this because it will be very easy for them to be able to patch it where your snack menu will not stay open after joining your friend's job I'm pretty sure they're gonna come away patching this 
but this is the only easy car to service car and car to car merge so I'll catch y'all inside the next video peace out